we have negative 3 fourths minus 7 6 minus 3 6 and there's many ways to do this but it immediately jumps out at me that these last two numbers have a 6 in the denominator so I'm going to worry about these first I'm going to view this as negative 7 6 minus 3 6 so if we have negative 7 6 minus 3 6 that's going to be the same thing as negative 7 minus 3 over 6. And of course, we have this negative 3 fourths out front that we're going to add to whatever we get over here. So this is these two terms that I'm adding together. Negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. So it's negative 10 over 6. And then I'm going to have to add that to negative 3 fourths. To negative, I'm using a negative three fourths. And now I have to worry about finding a common denominator. Let me write that so they look a little bit, they have a similar size, negative three fourths. So now I have to worry about finding a common denominator. What is the smallest number that is a multiple of both four and six? Well, it might jump out of you that it's 12. You can literally just look, go through the multiples of four, or you could look at the prime factorization of both of these numbers. And what's the smallest number that has all of the prime factors of both of these? So you need two twos, and you need a two and a three. So if you have two twos and a three, that's four times three is 12. So let's rewrite this as, as something over 12 plus, plus something over 12 plus something over 12. Well, to get your denominator from 4 to 12, you have to multiply by 3. So let's multiply our numerator by 3 as well. So if you multiply negative 3 times 3, you're going to have negative 9. And to get your denominator from 6 to 12, you have to multiply by 2. So let's multiply our numerator by 2 as well, so that we don't change the value of the fraction. So that's going to be negative 20. And now we're ready to add. Our common denominator is 12. And so this is going to be negative 9, negative 9 plus negative 20, or we could even write that as minus 20 over 12, which is equal to, and we deserve a drum roll now, this is negative 29 over 12. And 29 is a prime number, so it's not going to share any common factors other than 1 with 12. So we also have this in the, in the, in the most simplified form.